Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Urs Kasser. I'm with the Berkman Center, and I have the great pleasure uh, to welcoming you to Harvard Law School uh, on behalf of uh, the Berkman team, as well as, of course, the Hewlett Foundation. Uh, it's a real pleasure to have you here at, if I, my information is correct, uh, what is the eighth OER grantees meeting. Um, and it's fantastic, really, after such a long uh, planning process to finally come together. Uh, actually, Barbara and uh, Kathy, we meet for the first time face to face, had many conference calls, so this is very exciting. And of course, we're especially grateful for those of you who have traveled from afar. Actually, about the fourth of the participants are coming from outside the US, including myself being European. Uh, and I'm really grateful that you uh, have taken the time uh, to join us here today for what I believe will be a fantastic conference with really wonderful um, peer contribution. So I'm looking forward uh, to that. I uh, will be very brief in my remarks. Uh, I will talk a little bit more tomorrow, serve as your MC throughout the day. Uh, today we have a very uh, compressed timeline, uh, lots of things to cover. Uh, to warm up actually and set the stage for tomorrow. So what I would like to do is just to say a few words uh, about the arc of the program, the goals uh, of the meeting, and walk you through uh, the structure of the agenda very briefly so that you get a, an idea of what we're, uh, what we're up to over the next three days. So as you uh, can take from the invitation as well as from the program, and I hope everyone got, it, got this booklet here. We actually printed it in this format because it's less likely that we lose it. Uh, if it's smaller, then we lose it. So hopefully uh, we'll have this version, each of us, uh, at the end of the conference still. Uh, the um, goal of this meeting, obviously, is to focus on the ways we could work together within this room, but also beyond to increase to increase the impact of open resources on education. Um, so the focus of the meeting is on education, building upon uh, last year's conference, of course, uh, but really trying uh, to address the strategic challenge, how can we team up, how can we collaborate to leverage uh, our impact together of existing as well as future educational resources, including, of course, content and tools and platforms, as well as, as policies. The goal of the conference, and we summarized it also in the booklet here, is, is to work towards an actionable roadmap. So ideally, on Friday uh, or Thursday evening, for sure, we would have identified some implementable interventions uh, that you know, we could work on together to make OER even more powerful across different educational contexts, uh, both, of course, within classroom settings, but also in, in informal learning context. So that's the goal. Let's see. Uh, let's be ambitious and work hard towards that goal uh, to have an actionable roadmap. Uh, Short-term uh, interventions may actually even be addressed on the hack day on Friday. I hope uh, you've all uh, read uh, what we're proposing for Friday. So that's the first opportunity to make uh, concrete next steps. But then, of course, there are also midterm and longer term interventions that require uh, collaboration over time. So with that, uh, just a brief um, overview of the agenda. If you uh, look at page 18 and 19, you will find the agenda at a glance. That's kind of a helpful uh, starting point. We start uh, right now after uh, my remarks with an opening exercise in two parts. First, Colin McClay, our managing director, and Rob Farris, our research director, will play navigation aids uh, through a heat map that is based on your pre-conference submissions of ideas, uh, how we could increase the impact of open resources on education. We'll then have our dean uh, coming in at roughly 4.45 for a few welcoming remarks. And after that, we will hear from our uh, colleagues and friends from Hewlett Foundation about uh, 
their thinking of how the overall OER street strategy looks like, how to prioritize some of the issues that may hopefully be included also in the heat map that we are going to hear about in, in a moment. And of course, special thanks to uh, Barbara, uh, Katie, and also Vic for, for making all of this possible to start with. So this for sure is a, an applause. Uh, for We'll then have cluster meetings, more on that later, and finally uh, for today a dinner together where um, we will also introduce the Berkman Center a little bit more. Of course, one of the goals also of the event is to bring together different communities, the OER community, many of you being of course uh, part of that, uh, and bring it together with the Berkman network with the Berkman community. There is significant overlap, but it's also uh, uh, in some respects complementary, so this will be great. And we have many more guests also joining in, and hopefully the dinner will give a first opportunity uh, to kind of mingle and get to know each other a little bit. Tomorrow morning, we'll start with segment one, which is a stage setter, essentially looking at the current uh, state of play, open resources in education, what are trends, what are perspectives uh, from a conceptual perspective. We'll start with a keynote session and then uh, switch to moderated roundtable discussions addressing this question of impact on education from three distinct but uh, also partly overlapping perspectives as you can see from the program here um, as essentially really uh, an opportunity to uh, reflect on what are the experiences, what do we know, but also where are potential gaps and where is need for action. Uh, again, from a broad conceptual angle when we talk about open resources in education and try to increase impact. Segment two then is complementary to that, is essentially a deep dive from a practical perspective where we hope um, to learn from all of you about the projects you have been working on, uh, the work you're doing in the field. Uh, the idea is here, uh, of course, to identify possible areas of collaboration, but also uh, to identify powerful narratives that uh, we all can share and use while uh, we work towards a roadmap uh, for OER. So um, I'm very much looking forward to the second segment. Uh, this will be a mix between feature projects. Obviously, we cannot do justice to all the great work you've been doing. So we selected a few projects to highlight them, but then have kind of more of a breakfast bazaar where we can walk around and connect with each other and learn from each other in an informal uh, mode on Thursday morning, actually. So, Segment three then is the synthesis of the more conce conceptual view and, and the practical perspective uh, where we really try to uh, synthesize the experiences and translate it into an actual roadmap and framework uh, focusing on some of the pillars that um, at least the Hewlett Foundation has put forward as a very helpful framework how to think about uh, our work in the, in the space. Um, so that's uh, uh, roughly the game plan. Uh, we'll have many opportunities also within the program for smaller group conversation, for breakouts, uh, more on that later. I just want to give you a, a very high level overview of the agenda. There's much more to be said, of course, uh, but I think for the moment, the most important thing again is uh, uh, that you feel welcome here. We are just absolutely thrilled to have you here. Uh, it's, um, a team of Berkman people here. We all wear these kind of things here uh, that you can identify us easily if there are questions. There is an information desk uh, throughout uh, the day tomorrow as well. Uh, whenever you have questions, please approach any of us uh, from Team Berkman. We are here to make this um, as a great stay as possible for all of you. So with that, thank you again. Uh, and let me turn over to my friends, Colin and, and Rob. Uh, and I'm really interested in this heat map thing. And I assume many others in the room too. What is a heat map, right? We'll see, thanks.